right, first of all, before we start spraying any glue on the panel, we're going to mask it up. Because the last thing you want to have to do is clean up glue off the window. Especially so we've only just had it tinted. up now ready to spray the glue on and none should go on the window right so I've already cut the carpet to size let's make sure we get it around the right way so it's got a rough side and a nice smooth or smoother and softer side so the smoother and softer side is obviously your, your face side so we're carpeting it to this edge well, if we pulled this off, we don't need this on here. Right, so we're going to carpet to this edge here. So we'll bring the carpet over as far as we can. And what we're going to do first, is we're going to spray the top edge, and carpet from the top edge and come downwards. Because when you're trying to stretch the carpet here with all this carpet in the center still where the window is it becomes really difficult to stretch into the corners on both sides so that's four-way stretch carpet it's meant to stretch but it doesn't stretch enough so what we're going to do we are literally going to cut a hole out here not as big as the window Mind your fingers when you're using sharp knives. So I always start it off with a Stanley knife. And get a pair of scissors in and cut the hole. It doesn't have to look pretty because this is all going to be cut out eventually anyway. Oh, that was a bit tight. It means I'll have to stretch it over. Plus there's going to be a trim around there anyway. So again, you have to be careful. Right, so now, roll this up a bit. I need to spray underneath on the panel and around that top edge of that window, and the same on the carpet. Then we start to bring it down.
stretch it over there where I've cut it a little bit short. Got a little bit too tight with the scissors. Right, and to make life easier now, we can cut a little bit more out because we know how much we're going to need. He says as he does it again. Cool, run close. So what I'm gonna do now is start from this end and work back that way. so we make sure that sticks the edges stick so when the rubber goes back over the top it doesn't push it off that on one of the other windows I did so what I'm going to do with this blade is turn it around so it's brand new and what I'm going to do I'll show you how it cuts over on this side I'm following the line of the van And it gives a nice clean edge to the carpet. A lot of people will won't cut along the edge. They'll cut a bit further out. And the reason they do that is so they can fold it round. I like to cut to the edge. But again, it's everybody's own preference.
Rubber's totally destroyed, somebody's had it off before and tried to replace it and made a real mockery of it. So that'd be a case of a new door rubber. carpet a wheel arch to have a good look I know there's extra bits on the outside of it but that is going to be covered up by a panel and finish it off and make it look a lot neater once the panels on there Using the four-way stretch carpet, we managed to get around tight bends and tight corners and tight bits like that. This stuff is absolutely amazing and it looks amazing too when it's put on panels. This is one of the door panels. So now I've managed to do both the back side panels, one of the door panels. There's only just one side door panel left and the tailgate panel and that is it then we can put it all together. So I've shown you how to do panels, I've shown you how to do a wheel arch, I've shown you how to do a window inside the van, but I'm not going to show you any more for now. So I've finished the carpeting and I bet you're really, really interested to see what it looks like.
Well, okay, all my van life friends, that is me done for today. The carpeting is finished, although I'm having second thoughts about the back door and the lower parts that I can see silver on. Can you see those two bits just there and there? I might extend the carpet as yet, I don't know. But I think you've got the gist of how to carpet the inside of your van from what I've done today. Any questions, any comments, please leave them below. Um, please give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think, and tell me what you think of the colour, because I do like this dark anthracite grey. It's absolutely gorgeous. Maybe a bit too much that I'm using it in too many vehicles, but I don't know. I do have light grey in my own van, so I decided to go for something darker in this one. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, and I hope you're staying well, staying safe, staying happy, and I will see you in, next, in the next video. Bye for now.